No, he's not. Yes. Um, All right, hello. you're ready. Okay, I get so, should I start the timer? Yes, please. All right. Okay. Starting the timer, and here is the question. So if you've read and understood, kindly tell me what is your provisional diagnosis? My professional diagnosis can be yes, uh, esophageal carcinoma. Okay. Other differential could be TB, could yes. be lymphoma, Hodgkin or Nutkin lymphoma. Yes. And can be either lymphadenopathy. Okay. Can you tell me what is the pathogenesis of uh, esophageal carcinoma? Okay, uh, uh, usually patients get affected by Epstein Barr virus, uh, which uh, then uh, there is replication in the nasopharyngeal epithelium. Yes. Sorry, signals are really poor. I can't. Yes. Yes. I can hardly understand, you know. Can anyone? Hello, ma'am. Yes, can you hear, Dr. Mohammed? No, no, ma'am. It's, it's, no, no, it's no, really, sorry, really very much broken. Yeah. Yes, yes. So I'm going to only guess. So, uh, Doctor, can you tell me what are the risk factors uh, involved for nasopharyngeal he left, carcinoma? Man. He left. He got disconnected. Yeah. If you want, I can continue, or we can wait. Then I should stop the timer because. <laughs> yeah. Sure. Man. Maybe he'll get back. Hello? Yes. Are you there? Sorry, I get disconnected. Can, yes, can you yes. hear me? Or, yes, yes, now it's better. Can you tell me, please, uh, what are the risk factors which are involved? In, yes, uh, uh, it can be either. Due to... Yes, please. Um, male is more effective than the female. Uh, it's yes. Maybe due to some infinities more common on uh, South Chinese, uh, on Hong yes. Kong. Or Malaysia yes. or Vietnam. Yes. Also, maybe in Greenland, it may be associated with viral infection, not just yes. the Ambar virus. Yes. Or it can be due to genetic or family history. Also, it yes. is associated with alcohol or tobacco. Okay. Can you tell me how would you define term carcinoma? Carcinoma is a type of cancer that arises from the epithelial cells. Okay, how would you differentiate from a uh, term trauma? Tumor, sorry. Tumor? Tumor, yes, please. So what is uh, the difference be between benign. carcinoma and tumor? Yes. Uh, carcinoma is uh, the malignancy, while tumor can be benign or malignant. Okay. Can you tell me how or what is the mode of spread of nasopharyngeal carcinoma? Yes, it can be spread either to lymphatic or local spread. 
Yes. Can you uh, explain the spread? Uh, can be either spread to the lymphatic, it can be either to the cervical, or it can be locally invasion. So it can be through superior invading the cavernous sinus or sphenoid sinus. It can be superiorly invading the oropharynx or C1 vertebrae, or it can be posterior through the clivus or the skull, or okay. it can, uh, can spread laterally to the para, parapharyngeal space and to the middle ears, or it can be yes. spread anterior to the orbital space or yes. paranasal sinus. Very good. Can you tell me what investigations would you carry out to differentiate nasopharyngeal carcinoma from lymphoma? Uh, I will do fine needle aspiration. Okay. And? Lymphoma may yes. associate with red stern Yes. I also will do biopsy. All right. What imaging modalities would you ask for? Uh, I will ask for whole body CT, uh, maybe a MRI or okay. CT, or yes. I can do beta scan. Okay. Good. Uh, right. What should be the management for a nasopharyngeal carcinoma? I uh, will take a uh, detailed full history and examination. Yes. Uh, then I will do some investigation. Uh, yes. As I said, I will do fine needle aspiration and then I will take a uh, biopsy, maybe excisional biopsy for synthenyl lymph node. Uh, yes. Then I will do CT for staging. Then yes. uh, the patient might need uh, radiotherapy or chemotherapy. Okay. Can you tell me what is, what is the mechanism behind radiotherapy? How does it work? Uh, radiotherapy it is uh, used ionizing radiations that uh, cause DNA damage either by base damage or uh, single or double strand DNA breaks, which uh, lead to cell death. It can be either direct or indirect. Uh, direct, this is cause direct DNA damage, and which lead to cell death, or indirect through generation of free radical and cause high tension oxygen, which lead to DNA damage. How many types of cell death are you aware of? Cell death? Yes, uh, there is maybe apoptosis or necrosis. Okay. How would you differentiate? What is the difference? Which one is energy dependent and which one is not? Okay. Uh, necrosis, it is energy dependent, while apoptosis is independent. I think you're telling me opposite. Okay, what are the units which are involved in radiotherapy? Can you tell me, please? Uh, necrosis and apoptosis, no inflammation. Yes. Necrosis associated with uh, nuclear change can be associated with either cariolysis or cariorexis. Can you tell me what are the uh, units yes, involved in radiotherapy? The unit can be either QRA or uh, saver or gray. What are they for? Saved, Can you tell me? Saved, yes. saved for the dose, uh, QRA for the absorption and gray yes. for the exposure. Okay. Can you tell me, uh, are there any genes involved or any uh, markers involved in uh, the formation of nasopharyngeal carcinoma? Markers? Any genes or any, um, yes, No, mm, I can't remember. because there's a genetic factor involved, so there is involvement of Epstein Barr virus. Yes, it's associated with the virus, this Epstein Barr virus. Yes, okay. Can you name few tumors which are uh, associated with lymph node only? Uh, it can be uh, lymphoma, can be lymphoma, Hodgkin or non lymphoma, can be met due to metastasis and leukemia yes very good okay good 
genes you you'll find out and tell me next time okay because there okay. are there is this genetic factor associated with it and uh, we should know and the use of tobacco and okay. that we know but what are the genes which are associated with this so that we can discuss next time right you mentioned uh, it could be benign so HL, HL, HL genes. tumor could be benign or malignant can you name few differences between benign and malignant bell is gone but i still want yes. to know benign are well differentiated and yes. encapsulated and yes. there is a slow growing tumor yes. uh, it is rarely infect the surrounding tissues yes and do, they do not metastasize while malignant are rapid growing tumor uh, that are poorly differentiated can be anaplastic yes. and they they metastasize to the distant, or, distant organs and they are rapid growing uh, they usually invade in the surrounding tissue very good excellent thank you it was good you are welcome. excellent better than yes uh, yes so that means yes it's it's working i'm happy yes anything else uh, dr avishek is telling uh, right the yeah, what did you like, say dr avishek about like, the gene uh, there is no specific genes there name was, actually uh, but the genes are located on the you know the short arm of the chromosome 21 like hla genes are located where there is some more genes that is responsible for uh development of nasopharyngeal carcinoma and that got mutated or over expressed by the epstein barr virus then this carcinoma yes. occurred yes but this is like pathogenesis like you have to read uh, enough to tell me three two three lines at least like you told yeah me. yeah dr mohammed ilian do you want to add something please Ma'am, uh, I have I am not completed actually. There is oh, still sorry. stage one treatment for nasopharyngeal carcinoma. Like if it is stage one, like it has spread only to nasopharynx, uh, only located to nasopharynx, it is a stage one. So in that case, you have to go for radio radiotherapy first. If it is a stage two, like it has spread only to the oropharynx, from the nasopharynx to oropharynx, something like that. There is you can go for radio and chemo both. and the third stage if at uh, if it it is it is gone uh, it, if it has spread to the parapharyngeal spaces and the paranasal sinuses so it is called a stage 3 and uh, you can go for <coughs> uh, radio chemo and the excision of the lymph nodes yes. together and for the stage 4 like uh, brain stem uh, metastasis or something bone uh, skull bone base of the skull metastasis and cranial nerves involvement it is called a stage 4 in that case uh, you can do radio multiple radio and chemotherapy cycles with uh, uh, multiple removal uh, multiple times removal of the lymph, uh, lymph nodes yes, yes for palliative measures something like yes. that yes 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 good and the grading and staging uh, that you are using in mesopharyngeal Ma'am, grading actually there is three uh, who grading one is there is uh, well differentiated and there may be proliferation of uh, squamous cell or transitional cell that yes. is also found in mesopharyngeal carcinoma it is yes. yes. one creatinine creatinine non creatinine non creatinine yeah yes and and uh, non creatinine cell and uh, the grade 3 is actually poor differentiated poorly differentiated yes, that is called yes. grade 3 three. these three grades are there good yeah. ma'am actually please uh, open the stem can you sorry please? yes the stem uh, question yeah like for this scenario this uh, lymphoma should be our provisional diagnosis am i right ma'am yes yeah but this is bilateral uh, yeah. it could be lymphoma but no, then like, uh, i, I should recently... add uh, more like uh, 43 years old mexican yeah, she she or she something died some uh, laser no, symptoms some laser yeah, yeah. yeah. as a nose bleed or nose pain you can ask yeah like, like uh, recently i have gone through this nasopharyngeal carcinoma on our detail like few days ago it says uh, 63 to 70% people will have nasal obstruction nose bleeding yes. anosmia and discharge yes. and yes. also 63% will have headache and yes. also they will have ear symptoms something like that so <laughs> according to this, this is scenario really my first, yes yeah. 
instead of provisional, provisional diagnosis i should write differential diagnosis yeah yeah yeah, yeah. Oh. Then, then it's okay but first should be then the new form right. and i yeah. as it is yes yeah. yes this needs to be amend yes amended yes yeah. dr mohammed yeah, yeah mama ma you ask the gene responsible for nasopharyngeal carcinoma uh, the, the main uh, gene responsible for nasopharyngeal carcinoma this is uh, three genes uh, Yes. Hello. In, yes, yes. Yes, yes. Yes. Uh, number one of the gene uh, NBC uh, tumor gene, and uh, the second uh, micro RNA 153 genes, and uh, TGFB genes. This is uh, three genes responsible for nasopharyngeal carcinoma. Yes. Good. I also read it like this. That's why I asked. I asked Doctor Mohammed. That's okay. No worries, Doctor Mohammed. It's a small thing. Yes. Anything else you want to add uh, to what Doctor Mohammed Al Tahir said or Doctor Avishek said, in addition to Doctor Mohammed Ali? And do you want to add anything in treatment or anything else? No. What's mom? Do you want to add anything else other than what Dr. Avishek or Dr. Muhammad Al Tahir have already told? Uh, okay, and, uh, uh, could be a rule of uh, monoclonal antibody in the management and the and the nasopharyngeal uh, carcinoma. Very good. Good. Okay. Should we?